epic tent. It's gonna be beauty. These tents are super easy to set up and take down and that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to show one of our little tips for when we're taking down the tent to make it easier and pack up tighter and then we're going to set it all back up again and go in a little bit more in depth to how much we've used this and other ruggedized tents on our travels. So when you're taking down the tent, if you're like us and you have a ton of gear and you can't really store your sleeping bags or bedding somewhere else, if you close it down with them just laid out like this all nice, when it's closing it's all going to flop over and just turn into a big messy pile that'll make it really hard to zip up. So what we do is we fold it all onto one side of the tent so nothing collapses. It's already nicely folded and laid out. All the air is taken out of the sleeping bags so then it just packs up into a nice tiny box. Makes it easier to zip up and strap up. So we just flip, flip the uh, sleeping bags up to their heads so it's all into one half and mostly the half that it collapses on. So it is possible to set down these tents just as one person, but uh, normally we have one or two people doing it so that other people can go in the back and tuck it all in and just make it even more nice. But I'm just going to do it by myself and it should be fun. I've long for this place, long for this place for so long. Now I lay me down, I lay me down and be low. So normally now what we do is just have someone sit on it to get more weight on top to flatten it even more. We'd velcro the sides up, throw the cover over, zip it all up and start driving. But because we're going to be setting this up right now, I think this is good enough of a demonstration. I'm going to set it back up and we can go into the interior and a bit more in detail of why we like these tents. It's all set up, just collapse the ladder back up to where it all locks in place nice and tight where you can actually walk up it. It's obviously like this, it'd probably break. But again, super easy setup. You just pull the ladder back once you've undone all the straps and things when you're getting set up and it all unfolds right to where it was. And once we go into the inside, everything will still be folded to where it was nicely. So you just pull the sleeping bags or your bedding back to where it's supposed to be rather than having it in a big tangled mess. So it's a good tip. But yeah, I'm gonna get the ladder collapsed. This is a Rainier Summit tent, so a four person tent. With this one, the ladder, you just push in these two side tabs and you can collapse it where it needs to go. So we're gonna stake up all the rain flaps now. These, an easier way to get them up because sometimes it can be hard to bend them into their spot is just to pre-place them into the rain flap and then insert them into the hole where they're supposed to go and then you can just lift right up on it and it'll fit into a spot. Much easier than trying to stick them in there, bend them all the way up and put them all in place. Even me, I'm six foot two, big tall guy, can't reach it. <laughs> the nice thing about these ruggedized tents is you got the intensely rugged exterior, but when you're at a nice place where you want to see outside or you need some air circulation on the inside, you can roll these up and just pin them in like when you saw me setting down the tent. So I'm just gonna roll it up. Another thing is up here at the top, there is a ruggedized flap that opens up for some more air circulation. So if it is raining or something, if you're underneath the rain cover, you can still open these up and get some airflow in there. One cool thing that CVT has when you get one of their tents, you get I think two of these bags are shoe bags and just the other accessories. And just underneath these flaps, there's a little rail system that this slides into and you can put your shoes in so they're not sitting on the floor to get full of scorpions and other stuff or get wet at night. If you're right underneath you sit in the morning, you can just pull out your shoes and then put them in there. We are now inside of our tent and as you can see there is a lot of room. I am very tall and so are all of our siblings but we all fit in here very well. And 
we love this because there is so much circulation when the windows are open and all those little vents that when it's hot in a desert you stay cool but when it's cold in, a, in the mountains you stay warm when everything's all closed up but this is a summit series by CVT so the summit series are just like their more deluxe version so you get things like USB plugins inside of the tent as well as uh, LED lights on the roof and just little things that make everything more comfortable another cool feature about this tent is that on the exterior of the tent there is a stargazer window. It's really cool on a starry night, you can unzip all of these things, roll them up and tuck them away, and then you can see right to the outside and the night sky without any bugs or anything coming in. Yeah. When we were camping one night in Death Valley, Nevada, we opened up everything for the stargazer window for the first time, and it felt like even more so than just camping in a tent, camping outside, when you could see the sky, and it really just felt like you're actually outside while in the comfort of a nice rugged tent. Mother and I now are going to talk about the adventure trailer. We picked up this trailer at our first Overland Expo and it's kind of just been sitting there. We haven't been able to use it yet, but we finally have been able to use it. And what we love about these trailers is it's very much just build it. You can make it exactly how you want it, so. Yeah, like Peter said, you get to customize it. That's pretty cool. Like this came with a short rack and then we put this tall rack onto it so that we could mount our gas, our max tracks, we can put our um, sub boards. We have like tons of surfboards. Um, you could do kayaks. I mean, y you just dream it up and put it in there, right? They also have all these neat hooks so that you can mount other things to it. Um, and then in the front, you can get a cargo box. We didn't go with that because we um, put our bikes up right now. But I think down the road, that's something that I wanna do just to store like the generator, um, propane, things like that, extra straps. But uh, I'll show you around here really fast. So this is just a simple, um, and there's a gear, and now they come with trays that come out, and so you don't even have to reach in or even open up the lip. Also, you can mount here, and then underneath, it has a dual suspension, which is kind of cool for going off-roading. I'll get Pete to help lift up, and we can show you how big and all this gear that we throw in here. Nice thing is too with these trailers, when we open it up, having the tent even all set up in there, it won't affect it very much. Maybe a few of the window holders might pop out, but then you just quickly put them back in. So it's a quick, easy open. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. So that's a lot of backpacks, a ton of gear kind of thrown in here. I mean, we've been here for a few days, so it's really kind of disorganized. But you can see all the different options that you can do. It's really, really cool. And now, like I said, they come out with even the taller ones, so that's even more gear that you can do. And this is five people, so pretty cool. This little house and make a home you enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful as you do research for your own overlanding rig. Stay tuned on our channel for more videos coming out soon and for more content click the links at the end of this video. Alright so now we're gonna stake up all the rain flaps to make it look nice. <laughs>